In her latest Wall Street Journal op-ed, Economist, it's today, uh, Judy Shelton writes that the Fed may soon need the U.S. Treasury's help in the inflation fight. The sub-headline of the column, the central bank will be paying much more in interest on reserves to control inflation. Well, how much more? As things stand right now, she says close to $200 billion annually. Judy joins us uh, this morning. She's a senior fellow at the Independent Institute and a former Federal Reserve Board uh, nominee. She's also the author of Money Meltdown, Restoring Order to the Global Currency System. And, and I actually, Rick brought it up. We just talked about it. I was going to talk in more general terms about what's happening today, but it's out of the bag. Uh, let's, it's a little bit arcane. It is interesting uh, because as, as rates go up, uh, the Fed is going to have to pay more on, on the interest rate that, that it pays out. They've had money up to this point. That's soon going to go away. And they're actually going to pay banks uh, really a higher than, than market rate so that they don't lend money to other people. So not only does it hurt the supply side of money getting out to, to where it's needed, but Congress may have to actually, the, I'm sorry, the Treasury may have to step in and cover the bill for the Fed to do this for foreign banks as well. That's correct. And I think it's important for the American people to understand how the Fed actually operates. That's why in that op-ed piece in the journal, I'm encouraging the financial journalists who will pose questions to Chairman Powell to ask specifically about these mechanics. I have long been against paying interest on reserves. These are cash accounts that banks keep at the Fed they are sterile accounts. They are invested in nothing. They are doing nothing to support productive economic activity. And now we're talking about, by the end of the year, paying up to 3.5% interest on these risk-free cash accounts. And then you add to that the repo, the reverse repo market, which the Fed is increasingly engaged in. And they also are paying, in that case, banks and uh, money mutual funds to part cash at our central bank. And I think Americans would be interested to know that the 190 billion, that if we are at three and a quarter, three and a half by the end of this year, that the Fed would be paying to banks and money market funds to part cash, uh, I would say that the amount going to foreign owned banks would exceed 30%. And at this point, with the Fed earning less than that on its portfolio, the Treasury will have to cover the gap, plus this remittance scheme that the Fed is long engaged in. They give 93 percent of their earnings back to Treasury. That ends. That gets exhausted as these interest rates go up the way the mechanics of the Federal Reserve right. operate. And the ECB does not or pay zero interest on deposits. So yes. That That's attracts, why over, that would, it's, it's, one, it's one trillion now, and it attracts foreign in, investment. Correct. And those foreign banks keep a huge percentage of their assets in cash for that reason. 41%. They keep it in cash in the United States because their own banks um, pay, it's been a negative rate for the European Central Bank until last week. Now it's zero. And the Bank of Japan pays a negative 0.1%. So, of course, they're happy to get paid these much higher rates in the United States. And that's why they just keep the cash there. And um, I, I think it's a mistake. I mean, it's, it's not just these specifics. But I do think they help highlight problems with the Fed. But I think it needs fundamental reform. I think it's way off course. It's not delivering stable prices. It's not supporting productive economic activity. Um, personally, I think that the target inflation rate should be zero, not 2%. And I think that markets should play a fundamentally more important role in determining interest rates. I mean, supply and demand work in a pre-market economy to, to give you the best, um, the best rate, the market-determined rate. I think our central bank should not be interest on reserves. And of course, as I said, that's what my piece is about. 